I'm Tina. I'm Ross. And today it is Halloween, so happy Halloween. And to celebrate, we are dressed up. I'm sort of in a partial pirate costume, and you are? I'm a red shirt, Lieutenant Smith. And as you can tell from my tunic color, I do not have long to live. Yes. yes. <laughs> so we're going to have a mixture of a tasting. We have a bunch of these tuck crackers that were sent to us by Richard from the UK. Thank you so much, Richard, for sending us these different flavors. We tried the plain ones, but now we have some flavored ones and some sandwich ones to try. Yes. And we also have something I found at the store. It's bloody good cheddar, and I love how it is black and orange, perfect for Halloween. The vampire on it found that in grocery outlet and then we also have a couple of ciders to try so I have a strong bow gold apple hard cider yes. and you have a Samuel Smith's organic Perry sparkling pear cider so that's the first time we found Perry I think one from the UK anyway yes. in um, total wine and more I think it was mm -hmm. so yes this one also does say it is produced in the United Kingdom so looking forward to trying this. We've got some cheese already cut because I ended up getting two of these. I didn't want to be without. Yes. And we also have some Philadelphia cream cheese to taste along with our top crackers. That's good. Garlic and herb. Yeah, that one's almost gone. Then I have a new, just plain, original, but the third less fat. Okay. All right, so what do we want to start with? You want to pour mm. some cider and perry? Sure, why not? Did you have a preference as to... Nope. Okay. Mm. Have your last please. There. Oh, sorry. We've had Samuel Smith's, I think, ales before. Maybe a stout, but we have not had the Perry. I'll try the other. Okay. Now we have a strong bow. Similar in color. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Good. Yeah, that's nice. A strong apple flavor. Mm -hmm. This is not very sweet. I'll try this one. Not very good. Seems more dry. I think so. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Because I thought, oh, this one seems sweeter by comparison. No, it's also sweet. Your lipstick on the cup. Yeah. <laughs> that's the bad thing about sharing cups, huh? It's okay. You gotta go on the opposite side. It could be worse. It could be worse. What's the percentage of alcohol in each of those? Do, does it say? <clears throat> I want to say I saw five percent, maybe on that one. It might be up at the top. Yes, five percent for a strong bow. Five percent. Both. Okay, so they're both 5%. Yes. All right. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I can't wait to tuck into these tucks. You can't. <laughs> Good I think one. I saw that on the package somewhere, but we like the original tuck, so I'm looking forward to trying these different flavored ones. Then we also have the cheese sandwich, mm -hmm. which I'm assuming we can just have those plain. Yes. So we so, want to start with the cheese sandwich or what are the flavored ones? Uh, I'm going to, since you... So cheese sandwich. Gonna start with that one? Yeah. All right. So, here we go. Richard, again, thank you very much for sending this fine variety of crackers. Okay. This one looks like it has a cracked this one, so I will take one for the team. <laughs> yeah, these do seem a bit delicate and crumbly. So there is the sandwich. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm ready. I feel like this is going to crumble all over. <laughs> Maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. 
isn't too much flavor in this the cheese center. This reminds me of something you would really like though, because you like to get those crackers with the cheese in the center. Oh yeah, for snacks. I do. Mm -hmm. Pick them up all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. these are good. Oh, now I'm getting a little bit more. Hmm. That does make a nice snack, though. If you just need something to tie you over. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking, this would be perfect for snacking. Mm-hmm. Well, something more than just a regular plain cracker by itself. I'm thinking if you didn't have any cheese at the ready, say if you were out and about or at work or something and just wanted something with a little cheese in it, yeah. quick and easy way to have that. Yeah, I pick those up all the time. The... Um, the ones that have the peanut butter mm -hmm. filling and also the cheese filling. I like these. These are good. Yeah. Perfect snack. Oh, the texture of these. Mm. Yeah, they're very light and almost kind of flaky. Buttery, flaky. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, and you washed it down with some cider. I did. Yeah. You want to try some more of the cider? I would. I want to try some more of your lipstick. <laughs> Are you having a preference between the cider and the peri? Hmm. I could give a Tina answer. It depends on my mood. I think the apple cider is slightly more sweet. Yeah. Or the pear one is a little more on the dry side. Yeah. They're both good. I wouldn't turn either one down, I don't think. They're good. Yeah. All right, you want to try a little bit of this bloody good cheddar? I've been waiting for you to say that. <laughs> So you just broke off a hump? Mm-hmm. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. Mm. Always gotta love a cheddar. Set phasers to yum. Mm. <laughs> I like that. I don't think it says... It says what? I was wondering how long it was aged, but maybe it doesn't say. It doesn't seem as aged as some. Bloody good cheddar. And it says, a cheddar to sink your teeth into. British cheddar cheese. Yeah, it doesn't say. Does it say where exactly it was made? No, it, it says Summerdale, but we get that on a lot of our imported British cheeses, which it does say is in Somerset, England. Distributed in the USA by Summerdale International, so okay. and it says product of the UK, so I don't know exactly. It's right. good, not not as strong as some, but because we do have some aged cheddar in there as well. Of course, that's really crumbly and strong, but this is good too. Have another yeah. piece. <laughs> I like it. That's good. Mm -hmm. I'd pair that with some meat. Mm -hmm. How about you? Yeah, that'd be good. Or like some of our, I think we've got that uh, chutney that Richard yes. sent us. Oh, that chutney. Yeah. Was it chutney or, or jam? Yeah. The caramelized onion? I don't remember, but. All right. Now let's try some of the flavored tucks. Okay. I thought maybe those would go better with the cream cheese. Not sure. Okay. Flavored tucks we have. I have over here. Smoky bacon. Richard, thank you. You know what I like. And we have paprika. And this one is sour cream and onion. So those all sound really good. They do. What do you want to start with? All right, I'm just going to open up this paprika because that's on top. Was there a secret to opening it or did you just... With your lady pirate hands, you're able to do a fine job. Oops, this first you are really broken here. You want me to take it? That's okay. Thank you. Mmm. Let's smell that paprika. Mm-hmm. I know you like paprika. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you just try to... You just try to piece it? Mm-hmm. That's tasty. Mmm. That's good. I think I'll try a little bit of the plain cream cheese on it too. Thank you. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, you can taste the paprika flavor. Mm-hmm. Got this I candle can't. here. I'm afraid I'm gonna like. <laughs> set my. That, that's how the red shirt's gonna die. Like setting <laughs> myself on fire. Fire. Yeah, I was thinking like paprika. I love it on deviled eggs, on top of potato soup. Mm. It's really nice. It is getting potato soup weather here. Mm hmm. Mm. That's good, huh? Very. I don't think we. I'm trying to recall the last time. We were shopping earlier this morning. I know I said that often. It was often we do talk on weekends, go shopping in the morning, and we'll record a video. Mm hmm. I'm thinking about crackers. Very common flavor. Maybe sour cream and jives. Maybe a cheese flavor, but. Paprika flavor, I don't think we ever really come across here. No, and I feel like when we've gotten some of the international boxes, like a lot of times they'll have chips or crisps that are paprika flavor, and that's another one you don't see very often here. Mm -hmm. Even though you see it as a spice, you don't really see it that much in other products. It's a shame. It was, uh, crackers, yeah. Yeah, like that. that was tasty. It was. All right, so shall we give this sour cream and onion a try? Sure. Want me to open it for I think I got it. You can, you can do the bacon. I know you're really looking for that bacon. I am. Thank you. Pretty, it's not too much. They're not overly seasoned, that's for sure. Because paprika can get a little spicy, but it was not. It's not too spicy. Just a little bit of the flavor. There you go. I have like a plain piece, or are they going to try some of the... I'm going to have a plain piece first, just so I can taste all the cracker. Yeah. Mm. That's good. I like that onion flavor coming through. I feel like this is more flavorful than the paprika, actually. Yeah, what about you? Yeah, it's all because you're just saying, yeah, when you're taking a whiff, you're not really smelling it, but when you taste it, that's mm -hmm. actually put it in your mouth. Instantly, you have that um, onion flavor. Yeah. Are you looking for this? Yeah. That well, I'll try a little garlic and herb on that. Okay. Want to try that or just the plain? I will try it. I'm sure either one will be good. Thank you. Yeah, it's really good. I like that extra onion flavor. My favorite with the garlic in there too. Love onion and garlic together. Hmm. <laughs> a whole package of that and a fresh package of this. <laughs> I'd be fine for that for dinner. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's good. Strong onion flavor. Yeah. They're nicely together. You know, Those are tasty. Much. They are. <laughs> nice. Did you right. want to try some more cheese with one of these we've already opened, or do you want to go straight to the I want to go straight to the bacon. <laughs> Richard knows the way to our hearts. Bacon goodness. Okay. Not just bacon, but smoky bacon. Oh, this first one looked like it was uh, in a car accident. Oh no. <laughs> I'll take it. That's fine. This one looks like it's undamaged. Uh oh. Not so much. <laughs> oh, I, I said, uh oh, I thought this was too close to the candle Ooh, and it was. I can really smell. Of all three, that's the one that's got the strongest scent. Yeah. That's a lot of bacon flavor. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> just put that in a candle. Yep. Mm. That smells really good. Boop. Boop. Finn. <laughs> Finn's gonna go find that later. Yeah. Finn has a treat. Mmm. Mm hmm. Nice mm. bacon flavor on that. That's, that's really good. Yeah. 
a little cream cheese. And I'm thinking mm. I might do a bacon with some cheddar cheese. Love the bacon flavor on that. Mm-hmm. That's really good. They nailed it with the bacon flavor. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I'm getting ideas. I'm thinking those with the cheddar and then some of that caramelized onion jam. Yes. Or chutney. I forgot whether it's a jam or a chutney, but... Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're that's really good. We're at a telepathic moment. You're reading my mind. <laughs> That's more. Do you want me to pour the rest of the peri? Sure. There? I don't know if you want to swap again. And... Sure. Because you know we're going to have to make decisions. Yes. This is going to be hard picking favorites. Mm -hmm. There you go. While you decide, I'm going to. Break off a hunk of this here cheddar. Oh. Finn has a... Finn's going to have quite the feast <laughs> when he gets in here. Finn's going to have a field day. Is this the bacon? Uh, uh, like some bacon with cheddar. Bacon. Yes. Finn loves bacon. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. No. <laughs> Highly recommend some cheddar cheese with this bacon flavored tuck. But a good cheddar with bacon tuck. Yeah. Smoky bacon tuck. Oh, yeah. That's good. I said it before. This alone could just be my dinner and I'd be perfectly fine. <laughs> you wouldn't hear a complaint from me. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm. This is a combination. Yeah, bacon and cheddar is good. Really nice bacon flavor in this. Mm -hmm. Now, Richard is very kind to send this to us. I'm very curious. Richard, if you can let us know of the ones he sent, which one is your favorite? Do you have a favorite? Can you please let us know? And think good thoughts because we were just at Cost Plus World Market and we keep saying more and more things keep showing up here. Mm -hmm. In fact, the latest thing we saw was brandy butter. Yes. From Wales. I thought, there's something new. We've never seen brandy better before. But think good thoughts that Tux will make an appearance. Because they have the Jacob's Cream Crackers, just, and that's about it. But I, these would be a big hit, I think. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Because we noticed they're out of the Tunnock's Tea Cakes again. Yeah. So I feel like people are buying this stuff. They are definitely... Oh, and the prawn cocktail crisps. Gone. I was so excited to finally find... It was the uh, Burt's brand, prawn cocktail. I picked up a bag, totally wiped out. Yeah. So you can see, I mean, as we've mentioned, that's not a flavor we see here very often, actually at all, except for in Touch of Britain we found it. But yeah. now the Americans are getting a taste. They want more. <laughs> yeah. But on a good note, they still have Iron Brew. They do. Yeah, that's been there. So I'm, I'm hoping they keep it up. Yes. All right, so shall we make some decisions on favorites yes ladies first <laughs> lady pirate first mm. it's going to be easier for me for the crackers i think than the the perry and the cider i really liked both of them perry might edge it out slightly for me I'm gonna swap. this is the perry right here i think the lighter one yeah mm-hmm It's a tough call. Really tough call. You can't decide on number one? I'm having a hard time deciding. I mean, maybe the peri will edge it out a little bit, but that the apple cider is really nice, too. How about you? I'm going with apple cider. You can go with apple cider. I, you tend to go for more of the sweet ones. Yeah. Uh, it's sweeter, and it just has a very strong apple flavor. Mm -hmm. Where I, I like the peri one. It's a little on the drier side, but I just like the sweetness and the apple flavor yeah. of this one. That's a nice cider. That's both good. Yeah. 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 Now for the tucks. I thought for a moment, I was getting ready to grab these so you could have a side-by-side -side comparison. Hold on, let me... Oh, I already know. This... The bacon is my number one. Definitely. Okay. Did number know? two will be the sour cream and onion. Okay. Three will be paprika. And then last will be the sandwich. Okay. 
that's my order. That was an easy one. I, I mean, they're all good. Yeah. But if I'm going to rank them, that, that would be my ranking. How about you? I'm going to sound like a copycat. <laughs> but as you said, the moment I opened that bacon package, smoky bacon package, just the, the smell of it. So, oh, that smells so good. <laughs> smoky bacon flavor. Yeah. Strong bacon flavor with those. Love those. Uh, say second choice the sour cream and onion it's funny how it didn't have that strong of a scent but the moment you put it in your mouth there was you... that a nice onion flavor yeah mm -hmm. and something we don't really see here crackers flavored pep paprika mm -hmm. which is nice but also really like those cheese sandwich crackers and I would not have any problems snacking on any of these Oh, those bacon ones. Yeah. Top notch. Delicious. Thanks yeah. again, Richard. These were wonderful. So let us know in the comments. Do you have a favorite Tuck flavored cracker? And also, have you tried either of the Strongbow? I know, I think some of our viewers have mentioned Strongbow. And also the Samuel Smith Organic Perry. Let us know if you've tried those. And we hope everyone is having a happy Halloween. And maybe about now the kids are getting ready for some trick-or-treating. I understand it's starting to be more of a thing over in the UK. Not not as much as it is here, but uh, yeah. So hopefully nobody's doing any tricks to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if you like food reactions and food tastings, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you know we publish a new video. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. All right, so we got out the beer braised caramelized onion chutney that Richard sent us. And I'm gonna try this on top of that cheddar on top of a bacon tuck. And are you gonna do the same thing? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> but, like you, I am putting on the cracker first. That's probably smart. Use it as an <laughs> adhesive to keep the cheese on. You're so smart. Is that good or what? <laughs> I would that's violate good. the prime directive for more of this. Oh, yeah, that's good. I have this fear that like that's going to be the first one gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is so good. Mm -hmm. This time, Richard. Thank you. The crackers and the chutney together with this cheese is mm -hmm. fantastic. Thank you. Delicious. Yes, top notch.